success. I've got a message for any of you who are considering buying your next, your first buy to let property. Uh, I'm sat here, I'm just about to go into a meeting. We've got a, um, we've got a couple of houses to buy. So, well, I am a landlord. Um, I'm founder of ForTheLandlords.com. We're a letting agency. We're also the UK's number one property sourcer. I have bought a lot of buy to let houses personally that I own myself and for clients. The message is um, mid November 2023, I just see a load of stuff coalescing. I've, I've been saying this for probably the last six months. We have clients who obviously buy houses. If you want us to find your house, this, this could be a plug, there'll be a link somewhere, you know, yeah, yeah absolutely. But this is a, a, a bit a wider comment for any landlord or want to be landlord who is thinking about buying their first, first or next buy to let. So mid November 2023, what's happening? Um, first of all, house prices have been going down for a while. Depends where you are. Some places not a lot, some places a lot, uh, some places for not long, some places for over a year, you know, a couple of months, whatever. Um, the, the general, uh, never look at the whole market stuff, it's just an amalgamated number, but if you were to look at the, the, the full stat, they've been going down for about 10 months. Uh, and now they're just starting to go up again. So, you know, we talk about a window that's closing and that's what I've been talking about for a little while. Um, interest rates have been on hold. Product rates are coming down. We've got product rates below 5% now. Uh, and we still have conversations with landlords now where they think, oh, it doesn't cash flow anymore, does it? And buy to let doesn't cash flow because um, mortgage rates are too high. They're at six, 7%, aren't they? Nope, they're not. They're at four or five. We're stacking everything at four and a half at the moment because anything we buy now, we think that's where it's gonna be by the time it actually gets mortgaged out. Um, I, I can get 4.89 or something right now today anyway. Uh, not true, I can't, you can. I've got, you know, once you get to pass a certain number of houses, a portfolio landlord, assuming you haven't got 200 houses, um, you're going to be paying that kind of rates anyway. So yeah, for me, a, a deal's always had to stack at 5% anyway, so that what, that wasn't a difference. Of course, when I was having to pay, you know, when, when mortgage rates were 7%, and they were for a small period of time, yeah, that didn't work. The other thing that's happened, and it makes, yeah, okay, we're paying 5% now or 4.5% instead of paying 3.5%, but so what? Because rents have got up £100 a month. And that's, you know, the difference of 1% on the mortgage might make 40 or 50 quid a month difference, but my rents have gone up £100. I'm actually making more money per property now. So all of those things coalescing, I'm noticing that house prices did that and now they're going to do that. I'm making the right amount of money, deals do stack. There's stuff on the market. There are estate agents. The, the largest number of estate agency bankruptcies, liquidations right now since 2008, people are struggling to sell stuff. Guys, now's the time. <laughs> now is the time to make hay while the sun shines and it's not shining that's it what, 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 what would be the opposite of that make hay while it, while it's raining obviously that's not a big you know it, it, there's a lot of pain in the market people haven't been able to sell houses volumes low uh, prices are down they're coming back up there's a bit of optimism things are, 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 are um, looking up but right now if you are a landlord looking to buy your first or next house it's got to be the best time ever um, like I say I've bought well, we've bought over 1,200 houses. Um, a lot of those were bought by me in 2009 and 10, when the market conditions were, you know, for some people, terrible. For us, buyers, investor landlords, absolutely bloody amazing. Um, it, it doesn't just feel like that. It feels better than that right now. Um, we can find the stock. Mortgages are, 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 are normal. People haven't quite twigged onto that. That's like a, just, just haven't, you ask the average person on the street, the average landlord who want to be a landlord on the street, they'll still tell you mortgages are terrible. They're not. Um, they've not figured, the average landlord hasn't figured out that they should have put their rents up. We bring so many landlords on at the moment where they just haven't put the rents up for, well, some landlords for a long time. But if you haven't put your rents up in the last year, it's like, God, really, it's gone up that much in a year? So yeah, it has. And it was all based on the you know, inflation, cost of living, um, interest rates going up and therefore landlords you know, had to start putting up their, their rents on the next relet and the market rate just did 
just crazy things. Um, you've got to be careful not to make it unaffordable for tenants, but we do an affordability check every time. They're very happy to pay it on, uh, on a relet, very happy, happy to pay it on an extension. They've probably just had a pay rise themselves. So look, there we are. Um, I think now is the time. Get involved, um, go out there, look for those gems. Don't be afraid to offer low. We are always offering low. Um, speak to a mortgage broker before you get in, get get you know, offer, offers put in. You know, get get a decision principle, get an ARP, um, and you'll see. Yeah, well, yeah, I can get. I, I am mortgageable, and yeah, they're five percent, four and a half percent, and they're coming down, not going up. So, um, ah, look, I'll put a little plug in. We are the UK's number one property source. If you want to buy a property, you can book a slot. You know, um, we'll stick a link in. There's a, there's a video goes out. I mean, this is this is a message for any landlord who wants to do those things. Take my advice and or not. Look around the rest of the channel, and uh, you'll see loads of stuff and stats to back it up. Look at our website, and you, you'll you'll see lots of information on there. Um, but if you want help to buy a property, because finding a house is not easy. You've got to find it, you've got to fix it, you've got to rent it. And if you need help with that, we are the UK's number one property source. So we will only find properties that we want to rent out ourselves, the kind of properties we want to buy ourselves. Um, the way it works is you'd click the link, you'd have a one-to-one -one chat. If you're not quite ready for that, there's a discovery call where you can hear all about us. And basically at the end of it, you book your slot. You say, right, we've got property sources all over the UK, uh, in all the UK's hotspots. Um, they can only buy so many houses at one time. It's not you know, even if they could find a hundred, they can't process a hundred. So they've got slots, and you just say, right, I'll have one, thank you. You put your name down, and then it goes out and it gets sourced for you. And it's you know, if you say you want ten houses, they will find you ten houses. So, so, so we've taken some landlords from zero houses to ten, twenty, thirty. I think we've got one or two landlords very close to forty properties now. The average landlord in the UK only owns one and a bit. Never been two houses. Our average landlord owns eight. So what we do works, property sourcing works. Um, yeah, anyway, enough of a plug. Get out there, the time is now. The time is now. This window is definitely closing. People haven't twigged on that house prices are where they are and they, they're a bargain and everything else stacks just the way it should. They haven't figured it out yet. So go and back a bargain. Have a good day, bye now.